Hey guys, Martin back with another car cast and it's another Wednesday. Um, getting efficient now, aren't I? <laughs> Let's not jinx things. Um, as you can probably still hear, I've got a bad throat still. Um, it's a week now that that's been lingering around and, and it's just just won't shift. Sunday was completely wiped out, um, Easter Sunday, so the shop was closed, it's one of the two days of the year we close, Christmas Day obviously is the other one, and um, I got up to the Easter eggs with the kids and then um, I just felt ropey so wife says um, go back to bed for a bit, I was meant to go to the mother-in-law's for um, Easter Sunday dinner or, or whatever, roast dinner, um, and um, I didn't wake up until half past three, she couldn't wake me up, so she went without me which really is a lucky escape, isn't it? Because I meant I didn't have to go to the mother-in-laws. Um, jokes as standard about mother-in-laws. Um, I agree with all of them. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it, it, it's still just lingering around. It's, it's, I'm just not myself at the minute. Um, no energy, no no drive. Uh, well, I've still got drive because my brain's still going, but my, my body's just, just not working with it. Anyway, away from that. Um, so first thing, um, I want to do is say that it's a week since I announced the winner of the um, 2,000 subscriber £50 competition um, and um, I got a message off don't click um, saying oh, I was never lucky and come second and everything but I'm going to be honest um, the, the winner which was y y y Rikai, um hasn't been in touch in a week so there's second place and it's a week later so you've now got it so um, I'm sure you will get in touch and you are actually lucky because um, the winner didn't get in place so second place takes it and congratulations you've got yourself a £50 voucher for the store um, so yeah get in touch and, and we'll sort that out for you um, I just need your email address and such so that I can, I can activate it for you and um, we'll get that sorted so congratulations um, what else has been happening so I didn't go to Warhammer World on the Friday in the end because I just wasn't well enough um, I just I couldn't face the drive it's a two hour drive and I, I just wasn't in the right frame of mind on, on Friday and my voice was that bad on the Friday that there was no way I was going to be um, able to shout over all the noise that goes on in Warhammer World so yeah I left, I left it be um, which is a shame, my army was all packed up and in my car and I got to the petrol station to, to go and put some diesel in and, and, and start the drive and I was just like, no this is stupid um, and at some point got to sort of sit back and say no uh, so I said no um, but yeah, so it didn't do that but other things that are going on um, I asked a couple of weeks ago, or I mentioned a couple of weeks ago that um, our local gaming club that playing the Storm Mammoths uh, Merseyside Mammoths um, please do check them out um, on Facebook and Twitter and such like that but more importantly than anything um, they've set their YouTube channel up and they they record a battle report every week now in the store and then Matt furiously um, edits through it the next day and, and, and they go up so they, they, they're putting it was either their fourth or fifth that they recorded last night and they're getting some good views they're getting a good few hundred views um, on the, the battle reports now it's, it's it's a nice format it's similar to the format that I want to do for um, when we finally get time to start doing battle reports where they they record the whole game and then they watch it back the two players um, sped up at sort of three times five times speed whatever it is and they narrate over it and it's a, it's a really nice approach and, and, and they're, they're a nice bunch of lads anyway um, and I know some of them watch it so yeah obviously I'm just massaging your egos guys <laughs> but yeah go and give them a subscription please on YouTube because um, Whilst they're getting views, what they've not got is, is a massive amount of subscribers. They're a new channel, and I understand that my audience here is predominantly 40k. But you know what? Just give it a shot. Um, for the sake of watching, they're about 20 30 minutes, I think, a video. And for the sake of watching one, it might just show you a different angle to the game. Um, and, and it might, might spark your interest and do you know what even if you don't watch the videos please just go and give them a subscription because we know it, it does help and the more subscriptions a channel's got then it unlocks more things for them to be able to do in the, in the future with the channel so um, I would appreciate it if even if just 10% of, of, of my subscribers went and, and watched it that would be great um, so lots of people and horns so um, yeah Please go over and do that. Um, Merseyside Mammoths is, is their YouTube name. Um, I'll, I'll, as always, I'll try to remember to put a link in, but with these car casts, I quite often just press the upload button and then 
a week passes by and I start recording the next one, I think oh, I didn't put the links in. Um, and that's something I need to I need to tidy up on my side of things with that. I need to to I need to, to be doing things better with YouTube, not just with the car casts. There are, as always, there are plans upon plans upon plans for what, um, what I want to do with the channel and what I want to do with the store and everything else. And it's just everything's just so time restricted. It's it's unreal. Um, is it's not a simple case of all right well I'm gonna do this today and and you can plan to put the time aside I can plan to put two hours aside to film a battle report um, well it's not two hours let's be honest it's if the game's two hours it's three hours because of filming if not more but then there's the three hours of editing that comes after it then there's the rendering and uploading of it to, to film a full battle report of for example 40k it takes takes me a long time to do it and I just don't have the time because in between playing the game I'm getting phone calls, I'm getting emails, I've obviously got other shop stuff going on. Um, owning the store really does take the hobby away from you. Um, you. You're immersed in the hobby every day but you don't get to actually enjoy the enjoyable bits of the hobby. But anyway, um, yeah, that, that's just me batting on for, it, for a change. Um, there, there is plans and Georgie's really keen to, to, to get involved with doing some battle reports and getting some um, reviews for board games and things. It, it's, it, it, it's a time and money situation. If I had a big pot of money that I could throw at it, then I could take more staff on to then alleviate other things which would let other things happen, but but that money doesn't come back. The battle reports are great, but they don't, they don't earn us you know, money to cover the staff wage. Um, so, anyway, say I'm rabbiting on. Um, right, what do you want to talk about next? International Tabletop Day. So, um, you may have seen, um, if you follow us on Facebook, which if you don't, please do, we're so close to 2,000 followers on Facebook, or 2,000 likes, whatever it is, um, on Facebook now. Um, so, War Games UK on Facebook, um, War Games UK on Instagram, where we're, we're 400 or so followers on Instagram um, Georgie puts stuff up on there quite regularly and, and, and I don't expect to get a million but I'd like more than 400 um, so please follow us on Instagram follow us on Facebook and Twitter we don't do a lot with Twitter um, but it's at Wargames UK on Twitter so please as, as always I'm, I'm asking you to to hit these things up if you haven't already I understand that the audience that watches this car cast is quite small um, but as small as the, the audience might be, you're very loyal. Um, you're all very loyal. And, and you all tell me that you like my crappy car casts. Um, and that, that seems to be what they're, they're labelled as, is crappy car casts, but please don't take them away. Um, and we've had that conversation a million times, guys. Um, so, International Tabletop Day, though, those of you that follow us on Facebook, you might have seen that um, Tabletop, i.e. Geek and Sundry, um, shared our events yesterday um, and, and that's quite big um, the, the, the company that drives it all um, being eating sundry um, shared our link and, and they didn't just find us and, and think oh yeah we'll do this one today and we'll share it um, we had a Skype chat with um, Ben from ITTD um, or from Tabletop or Geek and Sundry whatever the, the branding name is I should know and, and, and I apologise if any of the guys that are involved in um, Tabletop are watching and I don't know what the official brand name is um, but between um, ben, ben Skyped chatted with us last night and um, we've been trying to arrange it for a week or so and with the time difference between the UK and LA and then um, the fact that obviously they are so busy on the run up to this day it, it's just been getting it in either, either we've not been able to commit to it or he's not been able to commit or something's cropped up whatever anyway we Skyped with him last night um, had a good sort of 20-30 minute chat with him um, really nice guy and and he's really interested and, and, and impressed with what we're doing. So they're going to be, um, we're just waiting for details and time slots and everything. So we're going to have a live link chat with them anyway, um, as one of the, the featured channels that comes on, um, one of the featured stores, sorry, that comes on. Um, and we're also going to be doing um, link ups throughout the day. So we're running this huge big zombie side game and, and a huge big X Wing game and you, you 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 pay to buy your characters in but all that money obviously goes to a charity which is all the hate children's hospital and um we they, 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 they're, they're mega 
interested um, in what we're doing with it. So what they've said is they want to sort of report in a few times throughout the day to see how it's going, um, which is great news for us um, that they, they, they want us on board. And then obviously towards the end of our day, which will be still early morning their day, we'll say early morning, will be sort of like 10 a.m. their time, then we'll, we'll have a live chat for a minute or two with, with the guys at Geek and Sundry, um, live on their, on, their, um, on their day of show. Um, so we're just waiting for time slots for that, but that's, that's fantastic, it's big, it's massive. Um, they, they, they're where it's at, aren't they? And, and, and they're interested in us. They also want to chat with us after the event's finished um, and look at doing a few things with us, maybe moving forward, which I don't know what that entails. I haven't got a clue. Um, try to keep my feet on the ground because it's it, 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 it could be something massive, it could be something or nothing. Um, but get behind it, guys, is what I'm saying. Um, international Tabletop Day. Um, I need as many of you as can to please share out um, off our Facebook page the International Tabletop Day event at 5 o'clock UK time we might push it back to 6 depending on what the, the guys over at Geek and Sundry say just to give them an extra hour to be to be into their day um, we're going to do a live auction and we've got different bits Warlord have put some stuff in Games Workshop have put some stuff in um, as Devium I'm just waiting to see what they're putting in um, we, we've got different things coming in from these companies um, that we're going to auction off and as I say we're going to do it as a live auction um, in the store and we, we did one at a charity event last year where we just did it off my phone on Facebook live and, and there's lots of people watching but we need you to be watching we need you to be bidding on the, the items that you want to win we'll cover the postage um, out in the UK well out worldwide we'll cover the postage um, but then there's, there's a really really vintage collection of D&D books we're not going to do them as one whole lot because it's like a thousand pounds worth of books but we're going to do them as multiple um, auctions we're going to sort of like bundle them together in bits and there's some serious money in there um, and 100% of that money is going to go to all day um, because they were donated to the store so we're not going to take a cut out of it we're just going to um, I said we're just going to charity auction them but the auction will be live in the store and you can bid um, either through the social media that we, we do I, I Facebook Live or, or Twitch or whatever it is that we end up doing it through um, you'll be able to, to bid through there or possibly I'm just waiting for Dave to, to decide which is the best way to do it it might be that we set up a temporary web page where you can be watching live but you can bid on a website and you can put the bids in um, it's all just about what the difference in lag is. If we've got a minute lag, then it's not going to work. If we've only got a 10 second lag, then I suppose what we would say is, right, all physical, when we go, right, going once, go twice, go three times, gone, that would be physical in store, can't make any more uh, bids, but we might give it 10 seconds for or whatever the lag is to catch up. So you might, you might see in the next week or so, a couple of live videos go up, which will be nothing, it'll just be us testing things. If you're on there, come on, drop us a comment, tell us when you drop the comment. In fact, let, you know, I'm, th I'm thinking on me, me, me well, not on my feet, I'm thinking on my bum. Um, we'll probably do a bit of a live video where it'll just be me chatting, and I want you to type a comment with the exact time that you've typed that comment. So, 10, 18, or, or whatever it might be. You, 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 you stamp that and we'll see how quick it comes through um, just so that we can get an idea um, of what lag is um, and if you can help us out great but share it out we, we want to make this as global as we can um, we don't expect a million people to be watching and, and, and bidding but, but it'd be nice to have more than 30 wouldn't it um, so see where we go with it and um, what else is going on in the day though so we've got D, &D sessions um, Dr Mark is your DM for the day he's running three intro sessions for Dungeons and Dragons. If you've never played the game before and you've always just had a little bit of, uh, it kind of interests me, I'm not too sure what it is, I've always wanted to go, this is the time to do it. It's free, you don't have to pay for it. He's written um, a campaign, which only lasts about an hour, hour and 
hour and a half tops I would have thought it's all pre-generated characters um, there's a map and everything so it's it's very basic level stuff if you're an experienced D&D player don't 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 sign in for it because it, it's it's not for you um, it, it really is about new players um, and getting them getting them seeing what what role playing is about so Mark's running three of those sessions um, they're listed in the events page so if you if you want to sign into one of them then I think he's taking four players or maybe five players per session and, and there are spaces available um, board games going on throughout the day unfortunately Rob um, Temple was going to be um, demonstrating the legendary series um, but he, he's, 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 he's ended up um, Rob's an actor and, and he's ended up getting some work that, that he can't turn down any of you don't understand acting if you get offered um, a gig you, you can't in it down. So, so that bit's not going to happen but there are plenty of other games going on, there's plenty of board games going on, the board game players are coming down to to, to, to do their thing with the games. Um, we've got um, a Cult Express mini league running for the day um, where you come and play a game of Cult Express, we'll chop down the scores and then there'll be a prize at the end of the day for that. And then there's the bring and buy, if you've got anything that's related to what we do at war games that you don't want anymore and you want to see if you can get some money for it then bring it in get it get it all logged in with us and, and logged on the tables and stuff and, and we'll sell it for you um, we take 10% as war games and we also give 10% to all day um, and the rest is yours so just make sure you price it accordingly but be realistic with your prices um, and, and let us know it's only 10 days away this guys or 9 days whatever it is so let us know sooner rather than later by all means start bringing them into the store so that we can start um, organizing things if we if we have to try and do it all on the saturday morning then it, it, it could just get a bit chaotic so we're, we're, we're trying to to organize ahead of itself um and, and i suppose i suppose that's it really um i say that's it that there's i say there's lots of other things going on um, in the store. The Stormtrooper video that I put up, um, the two Stormtroopers, um, I'm still waiting to even start building them. Um, they, they, they're still, as you saw them in that last video, that's exactly how they still are. Um, I haven't managed to source any mannequins yet, um, so I'm, I'm looking around for them. And then, and then once I get the mannequins, it should be straightforward enough, um, just a, a day or two. But I'll do it over a couple of videos. Um, there is the bolt action table is nearly done for the demo table I'm just waiting on my warlord order to turn up so that I can put the final um, shrubberies um, I can put the final shrubs and, and, and trees and stuff I um, mean and then just top up some tufts and mud and, and what have you and that'll be done um, rune wars is now out um, John hopefully this week will have my painted setback for demonstration and, and that, that should look good um, just thinking what else there is um i don't know there's this oh this weekend yeah there, there, there's a big one um this weekend is pre-release for amon ket uh, for magic the gathering so ma magic feels a bit flat at the moment there's a lot of um moaning and complaining out on the internet about oh standard is dead standard's not dead a couple of people have complained about it and then as is the way with the internet Somebody says something bad about it and a load of people take it as gospel and jump on the bandwagon. It happened with Age of Sigmar, it happened with everything else. Um, the internet can be a curse for that. And and yes, there's only maybe three really competitive decks in standard. Just don't play those decks. And then the people who are playing those really expensive decks won't be able to get a game. So they'll naturally then go, alright, well, I'm either going to stop playing Magic altogether or... I'm going to grow up and sort of say, well, all right, I've got my competitive decks for competitive events and I can make casual decks for, for casual games. But the new set coming out changes things. Um, it's always interesting with the new set and we have pre-release this weekend. So they're £25 to buy into. You get six boosters, spin down life counter and a foil mythic or rare. Plus you get a trials challenge card. If you do these challenges, then, then you get um, promo stuff. And, and you just get to play. Normally these are just structured events. And we still run structured events, midnight, midday, and, and so on and so forth. But on top of that, Wizards have invited us. We're one of only 40 stores across Europe 
that have been invited to try a more casual approach as well. So you can just come in and buy a pre-release pack. £25, you can just buy your pack. You are then invited to play at least one game with that pack. If you complete your three games, you choose your opponents. It's not a structured tournament, it's just casual. Um, if you complete three games with people with your pre-release pack, you get your promo um, prize support, which is an extra booster for Adam Ket. I say there's not many stores, they want to trial it. I don't think they've given us enough notice. We only found out about this last week. Uh, last Friday, I think I found out, or Thursday. So, if you're interested, then just get down, just play some magic and, and pick the game up. There's been some announcements to how the game's going to change a little bit um, moving forward. The Pro Tour um, normally is, is done two weeks after the set drops, so people only have two weeks before all the, the highly competitive decks get released. And now it's going to be... Um, Um, now it's going to be five weeks after, so it's after game day as well, which means you've got over a month to play with the new cards before all the, the, the uber competitive net decks start getting released, uh, which I think is good news. Anyway, I am literally just just exhausting breath, my, my, my voice is still sore, so I'm going to get gone, and I shall see you guys next week. Don't forget social media links and please share out um, off our Facebook page, please share out the International Tabletop Day, let's get that out to as many people as we can um, and expect to start seeing um, it getting shared more by us as, as Georgie starts ramping up the interest um, sorry if it seems like a bit of overkill but we, we really want to make a big thing of it uh, let's get as much money for all day as we can see you later guys, see you next week